So I was at a restaurant <laughs> earlier today and I was there with my son and I looked over at a family. It was a family of, of five. It was a mother, a father, and three kids. And the three kids were teenage years. The last one might might have been just barely preteen. But they all had cell phones. And what was interesting about this family scene was that all of them were on their cell phones at the same time. Like literally the, the entire table, there was food in front of them. Their family was in front of them. They had taken the time to get up, get in the car and go out to eat as a family. And they were all at the restaurant, all of them looking at their cell phones. And it wasn't looking at the cell phones to say, you know, look, 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 I, I found something and kind of share it with everybody. No, they were buried and their cell phones. And that made me, that really irritated me <laughs> because in today's society, in today's connected society, we are all so connected between Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. There's so many ways that you can communicate and connect with people all around the world. People all around the world who might never lay physical eyes on you. They'll see you in your video, but they never lay physical eyes on you. But they feel as though they know you because they are looking at your YouTube or Instagram or what have you. In today's society of connectivity and all of that, the, the one thing that I think that we're losing sight of as human beings is being present, being present in the moment. You know, the whole purpose of life, at least for me, is those relationships that you have with other people. We're social creatures. And the time that you spend with your friends and loved ones is precious. And to take the time to get in the car, drive up to a restaurant, order food, sit down at the table, and then everybody get on their cell phones. Look, that cell phone is going to be there at the end of that meal. That cell phone is going to be there when you wake up in the morning. That cell phone is always going to be there. But that family being together all at one time, everybody's schedules kind of coming together so that everybody can be there at the same time. That's a precious, that's a precious thing. And I think that a lot of people have a tendency to squander it. My, uh, my son and my daughter, I have a tendency to get on them because I always tell them, hey, look, when when we're hanging out, put those things away, put them away. I get it. Sometimes you might get a phone call that's important. You got to take it or you see something you, you just it just you have to it. It has to get your attention. I get that. But for me, it is unacceptable for me to be, for me to take time out of my schedule and schedule time to be around a particular human being and then turn around and while we're sitting at the dinner table or we're taking a walk or we're doing whatever, you have the nerve to bury your face in that screen, that's unacceptable for me. One, one thing that used to bother me to no end is when I would go on a date with, with a female and while we're on the date, she puts her phone down on the table and it's face side up. And every time there's some type of a buzz or a beep or something like that, she's looking over at it. She's looking over at it. She just can't disconnect herself from that device long enough to just be present, be in the moment. There's moments happening here, people. <laughs> there's moments happening. And you are going to miss out on life because you're trying to live some other life through social media. Now I get it. Social media can be a bit addictive. I get it. I get it. Being connected with so many other people 
that you don't know is intoxicating and you get that dopamine hit. I get it. I get it. You know, everybody wants to kind of feel loved and popular and and social media certainly fits the bill on that. But if you have taken the time out of your schedule, out of your day to be with somebody, to spend time with them, then be with them and spend time with them. Put the phones away. So anytime I, I'm I'm getting to a point, no, I'm not getting, I've gotten to the point that if I'm going into a restaurant to eat and I'm with somebody, now if I'm by myself, hey, I'll take some headphones into a to a restaurant and listen to music or look at YouTube videos all day. I got no problems with that. But if you're in there with somebody, somebody that you actually care about and care about what they think and and what they're doing, then I leave the phone in the car and I'm starting to get to a point to where I'm just going to leave the phone at home. When, when I go out and run errands or do things now, that's kind of tough because the phone does offer up the ability to make emergency calls or receive emergency calls. So that's been kind of a struggle for me. But when I do go out, I usually put that phone on silent and, you know, I'll check it periodically. But the one thing you don't want to do, at least in my opinion, is be a slave to notifications. And there's so many people out there that are. Everybody's phone is making all kinds of noises from banner notifications to text notifications to YouTube notifications to all kinds of notifications. And everybody's eyes are just so they're just so ready to to get that dopamine hit. Oh, something on my feed has come through. Oh, somebody's trying to reach out to me. Oh, I get a, I just got a text or I just got a phone call. I just got a Facebook friend request or I just got whatever. Everybody's so geared towards interacting with other people that aren't there when what you should be doing is interacting with the people who are there. 